Welcome to our Tudor Hall House. We have tried to make it as authentic as possible and have made it and all items ourselves. As you can see, the house was built in the 16th century. Unfortunately, maintenance has been neglected. Roof beams have sagged, several tiles have cracked and slipped, and there are weeds in the wooden gutters. The windows are made from real lead. You may know them as windows. Here you can see the teasel post corner with the top carving and the dragon beam which supports the overhanging top floor. You can see the corner boot scraper and there is more work needed to repair the wattle and door wall. On the north wall is the guard robe, so don't get too close as that's where we all go to the toilet with the big drop. So please come in and we'll show you around inside. Please don't forget to wipe your feet and turn right into the kitchen. Here you can see the spit with the suckling pig nearly cooked, with the trays underneath for the dripping fat. Ah, the boy's back to turn it to finish the cooking. This one is waiting for the final chop and we have been plagued with mice rather a lot. So this is the trap. We bait it with cheese in the end hole. When it walks on the inside touch panel it disturbs the wedge and the block falls and crushes it. We are fairly well stocked with potatoes and onions and cured ham.
on the table are freshly picked mushrooms, eggs, a pie and another ham ready for carving. Ah good, the roast has been finished and we can use the fire crane to check the gruel pan. You can see that the cast iron back plate was cast in 1560, slightly later than the house was built. And the pig is ready for resting and then carving. The remains of the main meal were stored in the ventilated livery or doll cupboard you can see here. Now please go into the parlour, named after the French verb parler, to speak. The parlour was originally one room up to the roof, but we have added another floor to make two rooms. This is the desk with the real leather bound books and it is possible to read them. On the wall are paintings of our King Henry VIII and his wife Anne of Cleves. Someone must have just gotten off the rocking horse. Here is a settle seat, a bellows to enliven the fire, and tools including a toasting fork shovel and brush. Over the fireplace are two crossed family swords. On the left is a baby's low chair with a toy tray to fold down. And there is a picture of our three children and we can now go upstairs. This is where we all sleep and upstairs is where the servants live. This is the copper bath and the bucket, which we may occasionally use when we have to.
In the front is the round and round baby walker. Maybe used by the same ghost as the rocking horse. The beds are all supported by rope, which needs to be taut and tends to stretch. Hence the term, good night, sleep tight. The main bed is a tester with a baldacchini canopy on top. The baby's bed has knobs either side, where after it has swaddling clothes put tight around it, we're tied in tight to stop all movement in the bed. Let's look upstairs at the beds, which were a woven straw mattress, perhaps stuffed with straw or chaff. The sun's going down fast, so we will now be able to see the candlelight better. Okay, we'll now go into the great hall where dinner is being prepared. But first we'll look at the guard robe in the corner. We hang clothes near here because the smell helps to keep the moths at bay. And this is where the word wardrobe came from. The beams forming the roof go up to the crown post and collar. The chandelier is an old wheel and it is raised and lowered to light the candles by the rope through the pulleys to the cleat. The pork pie looks ready to eat and the loaves need cutting. The master of the house had the freshly baked upper crust. There was the day old bread for the guests and the harder burnt bottom of the bread was for lesser mortals. On the table for a square meal we have trenchers which were a wooden platter. Originally tables were a board on a trestle and there's only one chair so hence the term chairman of the board. Everyone else sat on forms except for children who weren't allowed to sit at all. They could only either stand on the floor or younger ones stand on a low stool. The master sits at the end with a folding Savonarola chair designed in the 15th century.
So that's the end of our tour. Perhaps you'd like an apple now to finish. Thank you.